Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 e Tech and today I've got a Samsung Galaxy S3 i9-300 with me. So as you guys probably know, Samsung has denied a KitKat update to this phone. So as you can see, it's currently stuck on Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. So the i9-300 has an Exynos chip with 1 gig of RAM. There is a little variant of this that's sold only in Korea and that comes with 2 gigs of RAM on board. Samsung has offered a KitKat update to that variant and thanks to the folks over at XDA developers forums and that update has now been ported over to the Galaxy S3 i9-300. So in this video I'm going to show you how to flash the KitKat update based on TouchWiz, based on uh, the KitKat update that Samsung pushed out to the other variant of the Galaxy S3 onto your Galaxy S3 i9-300. Again, this works only with the i9-300. Just go into about device from settings and you can check your model number. So uh, the prerequisite here is that your i9-300 needs to be rooted and have a custom recovery like clockwork mod recovery or fill starch recovery installed. So if you haven't done that already, I'll leave a direct link to my tutorial on how to root your i9-300 and get a custom recovery installed. You can find that link right below the like button in the description. So now assuming that you've rooted your phone and you have a custom recovery installed, the first thing you do is go ahead and back up everything on your device because uh, we will have to perform a factory wipe to flash this firmware. Next up, head on over to the download section from the description. Click on the link there, that would take you to this page. So this is the original thread where uh, the ROM has been posted on XDA developers. So this ROM is pretty stable, it's at V2 right now at the time of shooting this video. Make sure you check out the known issues from the original thread uh, and if you're okay with it, proceed with the tutorial. So go ahead, download the zip file from there, transfer it to your internal storage. So I've done that already. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead, turn off your Galaxy S3. And once the capacitive keys go off, okay, waiting. All right, once they go off, you, uh, you need to hold up volume power and home at the same time. And you can let the keys go once you see Samsung Galaxy S3 displayed. So this will not take you to your custom recovery. So in my case, that's Phil, Phil's touch. So this is a touch-based recovery. Uh, if you see clockwork mode instead, don't worry about it. Uh, you, you just have to use the volume keys to navigate and the power keys to select instead of these touch keys. That's pretty much it. So the first thing you do is uh, go ahead, select wipe data factory reset. And you can either use the touch keys or hit the power key. And you can, if you have fill touch, you could choose clean to install a new ROM. If you do not have fill touch, just choose wipe data slash factory reset. Yes, wipe all user data. So this will take a few uh, seconds to complete. Just wait for it to get done. So once it's done, go ahead, select wipe cache partition. Yes, wipe cache. If you've selected a uh, wipe to install, a, uh, I mean clean install for a new ROM, then you don't have to uh, follow this step on the next. But if you've just done a factory, factory wipe, just do a wipe cache partition and then go to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache. So once you've done that, go back, install zip, choose zip from SD card, and now navigate to wherever it is that, if, that you've transferred the ROM that you downloaded from the download section in the description, the thread on XDA developers forum. So just select that zip file and select yes. So now this will take a few uh, minutes to complete. I'll be back with you guys once it's done. All right, guys, we're done. So now if, uh, go back and hit reboot system now. So you can select yes, apply root. So your Galaxy S3 will now boot back up. Guys, keep in mind that the first boot after a fresh install of a ROM is always longer than your regular boot time. So don't panic. If your S3 doesn't boot up for about five minutes, it will boot back up. Just be patient. Wait, I'll be back with you guys once it's up. So we're up guys. Don't panic if you see Korean because obviously this is built from the Korean version of the ROM. So just select the English. Next. Next. 
So there you go guys, we're up. So uh, for those who are curious about what languages it supports, let me quickly go into my device language and input. So these are the languages supported right now. So just to show you guys going in about device, there you go, the Galaxy S3 is currently running on Android 4.4.4, Get Gap. So let's so that's the i9 300 running on Android 4.4.4. So I guess that's pretty much it guys for this quick little tutorial on how to flash uh, the ported Android 4.4 uh, KitKat ROM onto your Galaxy s3 uh, i9 300 if you guys run into any queries if you guys have any questions you can check out the original thread over at xda developers forums or you can leave a comment i'll try to get back to you as best as i can so that's pretty much it hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you did please do give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like this do stay subscribed so thanks a lot for watching guys till next time this is ash here from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day Bye bye now